All right, guys, let's open your garage band workstation here and I will show you the amp settings first. So we just have a small variation on the rhythm tone that I designed and I'll be showing you the lead tone. So once again, using this small brown panel amp, we've got the black panel four by 10 cabinet. Here is the microphone setting. We got the dynamic 421 right in the center of the cone, just off the face of the grill. As you can see, the gain setting is at six. Bass is at four, mids at six, treble at seven and a half. And for this particular lead tone, we've got a little bit of reverb. Choose this warm reverb. Levels at four. Uh, dial in your presence at seven and a half. And your master at seven. Whoa, 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 hold on. Before you do anything, time out. Be sure to hit that like button if you're getting value from this video. Thank you. All right, next we'll run through the pedal board. All right, open up your pedal board setting. Now, if you haven't watched my uh, rhythm tone setting for Black Summer, go ahead and watch that first. That'll give you the basis for the pedal board here. Um, so once again, leave the squash compressor in there. Sustain is at two levels a little past two o'clock. We've got the splitter pedal going here and we've got some left right action going here on the retro chorus with the rate at uh, two and a half and the depth is at two. Get your rotophase pedal here. Uh, once again, both dials are set about two o'clock. You're not gonna have those on for the beginning and most of the whole solo, uh, but he does click those on near the very end of the solo when he's doing the arpeggiated, uh, the two chords there. Um, but I'll show you that next. Next uh, is going back into the mixer here, a little bit of pan left and right here. Uh, graphic EQ. Here is the dial settings here. You've got a little bit of a peak at the 3.2 uh, kilohertz. And then, so this lead tone definitely uses a uh, some sort of fuzz pedal here. I think the, uh, the best one to use for this song is the Candy Fuzz. You got drive at two o'clock and level is uh, just about two o'clock as well. All right, as I said, the basis of this tone was used from my uh, rhythm settings for Black Summer. Here are the plug-in settings here. Here's your noise gate, set that to minus 50 dB. Pedal board and amp, we just went through. Channel EQ is just the basic default EQ. I didn't do anything fancy with that. Just a small bit of uh, filtering out the very low frequencies and uh, you can see just a little bit of a uh, couple dB in the, in the 100 hertz range and then uh, some of the mid ranges and then it rolls off towards the high frequency. Now the uh, big addition on this one here, you're gonna add in Go to your reverb designer here. Here's your reverb. You're gonna pick the space designer. I chose the uh, one second sloppy room. It's in small spaces, rooms, small sloppy room. And here's the length is 625 milliseconds. Dry output zero, reverb output at negative 10 dB. I'm gonna cycle through the last bit of the solo here. It's gonna be without the chorus and the roto phase. And then when it gets to the arpeggiated bit, I'm gonna turn on those two pedals and you'll hear the difference. <laughs>
So lastly, uh, obviously for this solo, definitely want to use a uh, Fender Stratocaster. I've got it on the bridge pickup, volume all the way up, tone's pretty high. Just modify your settings on your GarageBand amp and your pedal board and you'll be good to go. So for some further explanation, go ahead and be sure to watch my previous video for the Black Summer Rhythm Guitar Tone.